Hi and welcome to Tennis Feliz channel on YouTube here. Uh, we're looking at Roger Federer's serve. I'm going to give you the complete tennis tip for him, okay? Uh, what he does well and why he's so, so consistent. And um, it's going to be a great video for you to watch over and over again because it will tell you exactly how to improve your serve I'm going to give you like several tips, not just one or two or three tips, but I'm talking about 10, maybe 12, 15 tips, okay? I'm going to give you as much as I can. And here we go. The first thing you want to do as a tennis player, when you're about to serve, you want to make sure that you're the most consistent way to do this, the, the, to start with your serve, on the slow part of your, of your stroke of your serve is this you want to have both of your arms to go up simultaneously at the same time as you can see Roger here he moves both of his arm like he's a robot see they go up simultaneously see that's where you're gonna that's where you're gonna propel like crazy okay if you can get your both your arms to go up at the same time, you're gonna have a really great serve. All right, that's tip number one. Tip number two, you want to make sure that you grab the ball on the tip of your fingertips. Okay, what I mean to say, when you put the ball inside your palm of your hand, you want to have most of the ball go on your finger, maybe near the tips. Okay, but not on top of the fingertips. Just below that, put the ball right there. You should have a little space between the ball and the palm of your of your hand. And the reason why is that because you want to make sure that you have um you have your you want to feel the ball in your hand. Okay, that's 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 the reason why you want to do that. Okay, now here we go. I'm gonna tell you something really great you want to have your arms extended out okay that's that's really important okay there is no don't want to see any bending in over here or over here no bending whatsoever okay that way you can be more consistent okay your back arm really bend that thing there and really get your racket to go as far back as you could humanly possibly do, okay? That is a great tip, too, okay? And there we go. I'm, I just gave you about four or five tips. There we go. The, the next tips are that when you take your racket on your way back, you want to upon your fingernails and your racket at the bottom on the ground. You want to point your... You want to close your racket head, and you want to point your fingernails at, on the ground. That's 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 multi tips right there. Okay, this is the slow part of your ra of your rotation on your on your you know your backswing. That's the slow part. And then when when you get your racket above your shoulder, that's the fast part. So it's slow and then fast. Okay. All right. So those are the major things that we just talked about. Now here we go. We're gonna go into a bit bigger area here, so you can see the top part of your stroke. So, the the next thing is gonna happen right away. It's gonna have a lot of things happen to tell you the truth, not just the next thing, but many things. Okay, one major thing you're gonna do is, as soon as the ball gets here, which is called the eye level, you're gonna release the ball. So then, what will happen is that, then the ball, you're gonna be able to toss the ball. A little bit in front of you, okay? Right about there. And the reason why you want to do that is because you're going to have, you're going to rotate your shoulders. And once you do that, then the sh your shoulders are going to be right here. And of course, your arms are going to be right there. And so then you want to bend your wrist. And the rack is on top of that. So you're going to bend your wrist a little bit, okay? So they can hit the ball on top of the ball. So let's just say, let's pretend this is the ball. You want to make sure that your racket is at 
right here. You want it to ball like right there on top. So then the ball comes down. You see what I'm saying? And that top is at 130 on the ball. If you have a ball, okay, if you, let's just say this is the ball, right? All right. You want to hit the ball like right about here. That's 130. Not 3 o'clock. If you hit the ball 3 o'clock, that ball is going to go straight. You want to go 130, so then the ball comes down. And the way to do that, you got to bend your wrist a little bit, okay? Have, that, have, a, have a bit of a wrist bend when you get up there, okay? That's, that's a really detailed idea, all right? So that's another tip. All right, let's go on. The next thing, what you're going to do is, as your racket gets at the furthest away from your body here, you're going to do a slingshot effect on your racket. And you're going to go really quick. And this is what it kind of looks like, okay? You're not going to do any stoppage here. You're going to take your racket behind your back, and you're going to go out towards the, the target, okay? And that's going to be a great thing. Now, the next thing you're going to do is also, you're going to rotate your shoulder at the same time as you do all these things. So this is like the very next thing. You're going to get your arm up. You're going to take your racket behind you. And you're going to drive that out. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to at the same time, you're going, to rotate your, you're going to rotate your shoulders. You're going to face the net. The entire body is going to be rotating, okay? And you're also going to be hop-stepping up because your entire, all these parts are going to move forward, okay? You're going to, as you hop up, this is why you want to, ball toss in front of you more. Because if you ball toss in front of you more, you hop up and you're going to get the, the middle of this hop right here, the, at the highest level right here. You're going to start from here, you're going to hop, and then you'll be able to reach the ball, see? And you're going to land with your feet in front of you, okay? So let's keep an eye on all these things. All right, the next thing you're going to do is this. You're going to drive your body down, okay? And you're going to lift your legs up, okay? And also your arms are going to go up, and your racket is going to go up. So as the ball leaves your hand, the ball is going to go up in the air. The ball is going to go up in the air, all right? And your arm is going to go up in the air. Your racket is going to go up in the air. So you're going to do a, what they call a kinetic chain. You're going to load down as the ball goes up in the air. All right, let's try, let's watch this. And there, that's what we're loading down right here. This is called a power position, or also called the trophy position, okay? Your arm is straight up, your racket is up. See how your elbows are extended out here? Let me give you a tip. You got to have your elbow away from your body as much as you can. Then you'll have an excellent serve. You, you're gonna go. For, you're gonna go at least 20 to 25 mile an hour at faster serve. If you just do this part only, get your elbow away from your body, uh, pointing to the bottom of the back, okay, like the back fence or the back wall or the back edge, whatever you got there, you want to point your elbow to the bottom right there, okay, if you do that, you're going to, I'm, I'm guaranteeing 20 to 25 mile an hour faster serve, right now, and what that's just a mechanical thing, okay? It's biomechanics. You, you, you have your elbow really close to your body. You're going to reduce your biomechanics, uh, your racket head speed, dramatically. All right? There we go. All right. So let's watch again now what we're talking about here. All right? So your racket is going to go down now because the ball is up. Now, let's freeze frame over here. We have arrived at this spot where you're going to do a pull and tuck. You, the, another important thing here is that you, 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 you're driving your body up now, okay? But you're also looking up with your head. 
your eyes should be focused on the ball right this minute, okay? So look up a bit, okay? You got to focus on the ball. You got, you're got you getting your racket down. Your aim is to get your elbow up here, okay? That's what you want to do. You want to get your elbow up and somewhere over here, okay? That's going to extend your racket as far as you can. Now, this is a cool thing. You're gonna take. You're gonna pull and tuck your arm in, and uh, pull and tuck your left arm. As you do that, at the same time, you're gonna drive your racket up. It's gonna be like a seesaw action over here. Your shoulders and stuff are gonna seesaw like crazy. Okay. So let's watch the seesaw. You're gonna pull your, and tuck your arm inside there. Your racket's gonna come up. That's gonna generate more power. As you saw that, okay? Let's watch again, okay? See how, see how that arm, the arms comes down, as the racket comes down, but then it goes, then it tucks it in, and then your uh, racket comes up, see? Now, here's a good thing here. <clears throat> now that your racket is up, and your shoulders are rotating uh, still, uh, your racket is swung from this side to this side because your body was rotating, okay? That was a that was just a bonus that you get because you're rotating your shoulder. Your racket went from here to here by itself. You didn't do anything to that. That was a saw. That was like a bonus plan for you. Okay. And what happened there? That your elbows up. You're pointing your fingernails to the side here now. Remember before it was pointing down here. Okay. Now you're pointing to the side, and you're gonna drive your racket with your um, edge up, your, your racket edge is up, okay? You don't, you're, not, you don't have your, you're not pointing your, uh, 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 your uh, strings up in the sky, you're pointing your strings to the side, okay? Your edge is up, and it's going to continue going up, okay, that way. All right, you're not going to stop doing that. All right, let's watch that again. See how your edge is going up? Then, at the very last second, you're going to turn your wrist here. Okay, at the very last second. Your wrist is going to rotate. At, as you do that, your racket is going gonna, it's gonna, to it's gonna violently rotate at the same time. Okay? Let's watch that. You're going to smack it now. See how, see how that works? You're gonna you're gonna go up right here, and then you're gonna as soon as you get near it, you're gonna smack. So you're gonna smack it, right there. That's the action you want. See. So what if, what what you notice here is that the racket is actually hitting with the side closest to you. That's gonna be a big deal if you could do that. So if you were to split the racket in half, the side close to you is what hits the ball with and that's a big deal okay you want to do that all right at the same time you have a massive torque that you built here and you're jumping up you're driving your right you're you're gonna hop in you're basically gonna you're flying here your dynamic balance okay it needs to be there all right let's continue going here and the follow through has to be there okay and you as you, as you Come back. You're gonna do a um, you're gonna do a, a hop step. You're gonna do a split step right here. See, this is a split step right there. Okay, both of your feet are down the ground. You may have to pull back to hit the ball next, or maybe if it's a short ball, you have to run. Or if maybe you have to go that way or this way. So you have to do a split step right there. All right. So, have any questions or comments? Please put it down below here. And I'll try to answer them all. Have a great day. And practice all this information that I gave you individually each more time. And you'll be a better tennis player. Uh, bye for now.